Hey neighbors, I'm back. And this is part two of my Walmart haul. And this is not necessarily food, but the items to prepare the food and put the food on. They're not really dishes, but dinnerware. I don't have a name for it right now. Once you see it, you're going to know what it is because you're smart like that. All right, let's go. Water break. Mm. This is what I was missing, y'all. I was walking around in that grocery store. Oh Lord, Jesus. To all the mothers out there, grannies, anyone who be at the grocery store all the time, God bless your sweet soul. Cause a single woman only go to the grocery store when she need to. You feel me? All this here, all who? Let's get into it. But shout out to you. Big ups. Okay. Much respect. All that. You do the thing. Because. I was walking around that store. In every corner I turn. I'm going to do a, a video about it. A pick me up video. About. Um. See, I can't even think of the word. I don't know. Um, indecisiveness. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ain't nothing like the Lord. Let me take. All right. So first thing first. Uh, ten pans, eleven point seven three, in length nine point twenty eight, in width, and two point five six in height. So I got some deep pans to do my seafood boils in. Hey, so this came in a tin pack instead of sending a pair, just buying one, buying one, buying one, like I did with these other ones you about to see. But you know how you go to the Dollar Tree, and yeah, they have these, and they're a dollar, right? Well, at Walmart, it was 89 cents, so I bought three of them. And you probably, I know some of y'all is probably sad. Missy, you acting like it's Thanksgiving and holiday time. I just like to be prepared, okay, for what's to come in the future. And maybe the Lord will bless me to put a whole lot of delicious and nutritious things up in here. Yeah, I went a little bonkers, okay? I got a little crazy, but I got three of these oval-shaped ones. And ten of these. These came in a pack together. These didn't. I bought each one of these separate, only 89 cents from Walmart. Whoop, whoop, for Walmart. Okay, I see you doing your thing. And I got two of these. They're not as deep. But I think they're longer. Yeah, they're longer. So not as deep, but longer. And I um this came in a set of two. So that's that. Put it back in the bag. Keep everything nice and neat. And y'all guess what? The um the heat wear I was trying to find like the dishes so it can be nice and pretty and stuff how everybody else have it set up y'all I could not find them heat wear safe dishes for nothing so if anybody know where I can get a set like the uh, chafing dish 
that may be what it's called. I don't know what it's called, y'all. Look, I don't entertain that many people. So, I don't have no big dishes. I just got bowls and plate and spoon, a knife, a fork, some cups. Okay. <laughs> the regular stuff. So, them big dinner pretty plates that you can put on the um, warmer. Not the warmer. The hot plate. Uh, the hot plate that you can put on top of it. I couldn't find them. And I went to Walmart. And I went up and down the home uh, kitchen aisle, the home aisle, all the door aisles. And I could not find it. Walmart. I know, y'all, every time somebody say Walmart on YouTube, I know. Y'all look at their videos. Help a sister out. That's all I'm saying. I know y'all watch our videos because y'all left a comment on one of the comments. So, if y'all watching that hard, peeping, then help your girl out and help me find some dishes so I can do more seafood balls and keep talking about y'all wonderful stuff. It's teamwork. There's no I in team. There's no I in Walmart either, so get on your job. Help a sister out. Make things a little more easier because... I don't want to really have to go nowhere else and buy something if Walmart supposed to be a one-top shop, a one-stop shop. So, I was disappointed because everybody else found their stuff at Walmart. And when it's Miss C's turn to find what she needs for her neighbors, it's nowhere to be found. Okay. Let me stop moving these bags around because that sounds funny on my camera for some reason. Oh. I was playing around earlier today, y'all. Trying to figure out what these scissors are about. Okay. So these are the 4-in-1 all-purpose scissors. Shears. It was in the kitchen department, so I guess that's what some people call scissors, shears. But I thought shears was for the things you cut outside for your bushes and stuff. Anyway, I don't know. School me. Hey, I'm, I'm open. Okay. Um, it has the nice soft grip. Mm-hmm. The non-slip handle. So when I'm going to be cutting them crabs... Crunch, 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 like this. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'll be holding that big crab like this, and I'll be going, scrunch, crunch, scrunch, crunch, 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 well, crunch, crunch, not scrunch, crunch. That's for Martin. We don't want to do that one. That's for something else. That's for grown folks stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go crunch, 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 and crack that crab open. Look at that delicious meat. And I'm going to go to town. Ooh, but these are some nice scissors. Okay, so they're shears. Okay. And they have a... La la la. A jar opener. Excuse me, I'm an Okay. Um, a jar opener. I don't know if you can see, but right here it has little teeth. I know it has a name for serrated teeth, I, I suppose. Okay, I think. It, that's, that's just what came up. Uh, like little serrated teeth right here on both sides. And you get a can and you put it around the can like this. And you squeeze and you twist. Hey, I, I, that's what I think. That's what I think. That's what it means by jaw opener. Okay. And let's see. A bottle opener. Now your girl know about this one right now. This one right here is the bottle opener. They should might as well just say beer opener because that's what you're opening up is beer and soda that's in bottles. But pop tap. Pew, pew. Don't you love to hear that sound? ASMR. 
I might have to get a six pack and pew, pew. Now, I didn't say a six pack or what, so I don't want to hear you out of my mouth, okay? But I'm going to be popping something, pew, okay? And let's see. A flat screwdriver. I guess that's what this one is. It don't look skinny enough to be no screwdriver. Flat screwdriver to me. But that's what it say it is. And as for the scissors, they they feel short. They they sound they sound short. It is um stick resistant. Um titanium coated blade we gonna see if they do the job okay if not they going back no I'm just playing y'all <laughs> I am just playing with you I don't need to hear nobody mouth talking about oh she the type of used stuff and bring it back to the stop mm -mm. nope <laughs> Now, if something messed up, then yeah, but if it ain't, I'm keeping it. If I have company, look, they was at a good price at Walmart. Don't, I don't want to hear nobody mouth. But I got an extra pair of scissors. And the reason why I got this pair of scissors is because it has the knife sharpener. The cover for the knife comes with the... A scissor sharpener, excuse me, not a knife sharpener. So I was like, should I get this one? Because I'm gonna be cutting them crabs. I'm gonna be cutting up a lot of crabs. Scrunch, crunch, 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 crunch. So my scissors gonna eventually get dull, right? But I was like, this one is four in one, and it come with all the other stuff you would need for the kitchen. So I got both, y'all. I don't got time to be playing. I don't got time to be in the stove saying, am I going to get this? Because that indecisiveness, it runs deep over here. Okay, so mm -mm. I just couldn't do it. I just, it was working the nerves. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, sorry for the noise. I know that's a pain in the butt. Okay, next thing here is non stick I don't see why I say double non stick double griddle uh eleven inches times eighteen eighteen inches non stick easy cleanup in release heat quickly and evenly dishwasher safe mainstays this is one of the brands at walmart and the reason why i got this is i could put my seafood on there and Put it on my hot griddle plate thing over there. Um, yeah, so I thought that was cute. It had handles on it and it was cheap. So that's why I got it. And it was cute because I couldn't find any of those um, heat resistant, not heat resistant, yeah, heat resistant. plates for the food you know what I was talking about earlier I couldn't find none at Walmart so I just picked up this cuz I wanted something pretty y'all because even though I'm going to do a lot of the seafood balls with the aluminum sometimes you just want to be a little fancy and you can't get too fancy with a aluminum bowl so, 
And that's that. So I'm gonna move this over here. And y'all, I got a cookie sheet. It's a big one too. Look at it. Only five bucks. From Wally World. Can y'all believe it? This big thing was five bucks. All y'all real cooks out there that bake and cook all the time. Probably no place where you maybe could have got it cheaper or not, but five dollars for this big thing sounded pretty good to me. And it looked so nice and it was pretty and I could put food on here too, but the thing is these two, they're not really deep. So if I put food in here, the food is gonna be like really high. So if y'all want to see the food piled up high like a mountain of joy, then let me know. I can just use these instead of getting those chafing plates or heat resistant plates or whatever they got. Last but not least, one more water break. Okay, maybe second to last water break. Hmm. Most importantly, when I picked up those crab legs, I did not know. But I mean, not usually eating cream crab, king crab legs. I'm usually eating snow crab and shrimp, right? Okay. So when I got the box of king crab legs and I opened up the box, do you know uh, that they were longer than my arm? And I didn't have a pot to cook those in. They are like this long. I don't know if y'all can see, but unless I break them all down to little pieces, they wouldn't have fit in the little pots I have because you already know the situation. Okay. So... Walmart came through for your girl again. And I got a pot. A 16 quart pot. And it comes with the lid. Sorry about the noise for the bags. Very nice. Wasn't hard to find. It had multiple selections. Here's the lid, and it has the little steam hole. I'm gonna have to get that tape off. That's gonna drive me. It's gonna drive me. So I gotta get it off. Okay. But anyway, it's a nice lid. I gotta clean it too. Can y'all see that? little handy hack for anybody that goes buy new stuff and the tag won't come off or it comes off but leave the sticky residue you can keep putting the piece of tape itself on there and rubbing it in really really kind of hard and pulling it off really fast that loosens up 
the uh, adhesive on there and if that don't work for you get you some rubbing alcohol and that also removes the adhesive that's what they use in the hospital when they have band-aids and stuff that won't come off and they moisten it so it won't hurt as bad pulling it off the patient those uh years at the hospital paying off and they must have knew your girl was cooking some seafood because they it also came with this steamer thing for like the lobsters and stuff and the mussels and they give you recipes ain't that nice how cute okay but as you can see right here in the pot it has a ridge and what you do, I'm thinking, because this is my first time getting it, my first time looking at it, like you, is take that off and I think, let's try it both ways first. I'll put it in here like this first. Ooh. Oh, shiznick. Oh, look at that. That's how you do it. Okay. And you put it in there. So you can put your liquids all the way up to right here. And right here on this ridge, the top one, is where the little plate rests. So this can be boiling and steaming and everything. Mm. On top of here. Ooh, that's loud. On top of here is going to steam mighty nice. Oh, you can steam vegetables on here too if you want. But this is the pan I will be cooking my seafood boil in, everyone. So, I know y'all probably sleeping very well because it is late. Okay, you can put it in there both ways. So if you need it a little higher, you can put it in there upside down. But if you want it a little lower, you can put it in there where the deep part is going down. That's nice. Really nice. Okay. Anyway, forgive me. I get silly at night. This is what happens. Okay. So, um, um, I'm about to cut up my vegetables and get ready to make my sauce and like I said there will be a video on that so alright that's all for part 2 of my Walmart haul I'll see you later neighbor but before you go make sure you have you some water And drink it so you can have wonderful skin. And then, like, comment, share, subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I say like, comment, share, subscribe. Because we're about to get it in. Next time, neighbor. Bye. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to cook a lot of good stuff up in here. Oh, yeah, baby.